वेलकम टू द स्पीकिंग सेक्शन ऑफ आई ई एल टी एस एग्जामिनेशन माई नेम इज सपना था मेजा नाई वुड बी योर एग्जामिनर फॉर दिस पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्ट एंड दिस टेस्ट वुड बी रिकॉर्डेड मे आई नो यू फुल नेम प्लीज येस माई नेम इज जशनप्रीत कौर ओके हाउ मे आई एड्रेस यू यू कैन कॉल मी बाई माई फर्स्ट नेम जशन दैट्स ग्रेट ओके मे आई सी योर आइडेंटिफिकेशन प्लीज जशन श्योर हेर इट इज थैंक यू जशन थैंक यू सो मच ओके So, Jashan, now few questions will be based on library. Do you often go to library? No, I do not go often to the library because I prefer to study at alone. Okay. What do you usually do in the library if you go? Ah, uh, sometimes when I go to library, I prefer to read newspapers, magazines, and some interesting novels. Okay. Did you go to library when you were a kid? um i usually go to library when i was kid uh, and the school library mm-hmm. okay do indian kids often go to library uh, no i do not think so because there is no too much libraries in our towns and cities so nowadays people prefer to uh, read alone at their homes okay very good So before continuing further to this interview I would like to inform that at YIP platform your IELTS partner platform we are offering both speaking and writing online classes if you guys wish to improve your score or want to get desired score then you can join our classes first of all you can book free demo class and later on you can enroll in our courses the number is displayed below either you can contact us or whatsapp us thank you Okay now few questions will be based on keys. Do you always bring a lot of keys with you? No, I do not bring lot of keys with me. I only have a my scooty key with me. Okay. Have you ever lost your keys? No, I am very careful person. I didn't lost any keys my. So I always keep my belongings. Okay. Do you often forget the keys? No as i mentioned earlier i am very careful person i didn't lost any keys uh, so i care my belongings and uh, keep keep in my pocket okay do you think it's a good idea to leave your keys with the neighbors actually it depend on the relationship with the neighbors because if we trust on each other we can leave our keys with our neighbors if we trust on each other yeah now few questions will be based on friends How important are friends to you? Actually, friends is very crucial for me because I can share my secrets with my friends and I can also spend my time with my friends. Okay. Do you often go out with your friends? Ah uh, yes, of course I go out with my friends for shopping, for studying at their homes, and uh, we also go for playing the ground. Okay. Where do you often meet each other? uh we often meet each other at our college classes and uh, we also meet meet each other at uh, shopping places and cafes mm-hmm. what do you usually do with your friends uh as i mentioned earlier we study uh, together and uh, go for shopping together and we also play with each other okay so this is end of the part 1 uh, jashan now i am going to give you the keep cue card this cue card and uh, you can plan your answer you will have to speak between 1 and 2 minutes and mm-hmm. you can plan your answer i'm giving you 1 minute you can use this paper and pencil okay yes tushan you may start now well there is a no denying the conviction that cooking plays a crucial role in everyone's life in order to satisfy their hunger also I, uh, although i am familiar with the number of individuals who love to cooking for others but here i would like to talk about a person who is expert in cooking as well as enjoys cooking for others he is none other than my father kulveer singh he is a chef by profession from 25 years uh he cooks all types of dishes whether it is vegetarian or non vegetarian apart from this he also makes makes south and north indian dishes and also italian chinese and seafood he also runs a restaurant in district mansa where he cooks for mainly his customers and uh, he also makes food at uh, our family functions like ceremonies and events he also cooks for our neighbors when they ask for cooking at their uh, events 
uh, he if i talk about his cooking skills he is expert in cooking uh, and he loves to cooking for others because it is his passion and uh, he uh, by cooking he gets a sense of satisfaction and uh, uh, he cooks for several reasons because uh, uh, sometimes if they think that uh, nowadays everyone is busy in their hectic schedule so they are not uh, able to cook and uh, so they prefer to buy food from the shops and restaurants so my father want to make people fit uh, fit so he include every essential ingredients like nutritious food for others uh, to make the people fit and uh, he also didn't survive without cooking because it is his passion and love to cook for others so this is the person who enjoys cooking for others that's Okay, yes, Jishan, you have done uh, some errors, some grammatical errors, which uh, we'll talk about later on. I'll give the feedback. Okay, okay, yes, uh, Jishan, I'm going to ask some follow-up questions, which will be based on the cue card. Okay, what do we need to prepare when we need to cook? Um, firstly, we need to prepare ingredients for cooking and secondly, we need to prepare uh, utensils and thirdly, people must have their enough time for cooking because cooking needs uh, enough time. Okay, good. Do you agree that food is an important part of Indian festivals and ceremonies? Uh, yes, of course, I am agree with the viewpoint because cooking is a very essential in uh, uh, festivals and uh, foods is very uh, essential for uh, ceremonies and events like sweets and uh, because uh, every region and uh, culture have their own sweets. So you think that food is uh, important yes. during the festival, during Indian festivals and ceremonies? Yes, of course, because uh, Indian, uh, India is uh, famous for their food and culture. Mm -hmm. Which dishes are must at festivals? Uh, well, there are many dishes at uh, uh, which are popular in events uh, like uh, first of all sweets are very important and uh, secondly snacks and desserts are also uh, in Punjab and all over India. Uh, sweet named Laddu is very popular in the events and festivals. Good. Should students learn to cook at schools? Uh, yes, of course, uh, students should learn to cook at school because uh, uh, it makes them self-sufficient. Uh, if there is no one at their home, they can easily cook food for them. Mm -hmm. Do you think cooking should be compulsory or elective course? I think it would be elective course because some uh, some students did not have interest in cooking. Uh, so they do not... Uh, 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 make it uh, learn to uh, so they did not uh, uh, have to learn cooking so uh, it would be elective okay so you mean to say that it should be elective during the school curriculum or yes. college curriculum yes it should course. not be compulsory yes, why you think so that it should not be compulsory what other reasons you support um, because ma'am some uh, students didn't have interest in cooking so they have, don't have interest or they did not have interest uh, don't have interest in cooking mm -hmm. uh, so they have interest in other activities so they didn't like uh, didn't like to uh, learn cooking skills okay thank you Yashin. this is the end of the test thank you so much Hey everyone, now this is time to give the feedback for Jashan Preet's interview. So I would like to start with the first part. First of all, she had done a many grammatical error in the first part. For example, when I was talking about the library part, then in the third question, did you go to library when you were a kid? So this is a past question, but over here, then she started speaking in the present tense. Yes, I go to library when I was a kid. I uh, usually go to library. And this mistake generally candidates uh, do. You know, they are even not familiar that whenever the examiner will be asking about uh, do or did question, then how to answer either in present or past. So did questions always uh, be asked in the interview section and uh, be careful if you are preparing for IELTS. When the did question will be asked, then you always have to speak in the past tense. You can use a did not or you can say second form of the verb. You can use would plus first form, always plus second form and use to plus first form. But she did error over here. And in the similarly, in when I asked a friends category, then there was a question, how important are friends to you? Then this is a plural like friends. But she answered here, friends is very crucial. 
so friends are very crucial so some other uh, grammatical error she did over here and the past in the part 1 that she was quite confident but uh, she had done these silly mistakes and these errors so next uh, coming to the part 2 in part 2 uh, first of all fluency and coherence wise uh, she did not use appropriate linking words so this is called coherence part and she missed over here and the lexical resource uh, she had command over the vocabulary so this was good again the gra part grammatical range and accuracy she had done rare error and repetitions a lot so this comes under gram uh, grammatical range and accuracy she was repeating a word also many a times she repeated and she repeated some ideas also and if i talk about pronunciation uh, you know she needs to work over pronunciation part if she really wants to get the good score i mean that uh, more than 6.5 or 7 that she really needs to work hard over the pronunciation part so uh, basically if you are preparing for IELTS then need to work over the four criteria fluency and coherence second lexical resource that's vocabulary and third GRA grammatical range and accuracy and fourth is pronunciation coming to the follow-up part I'm not satisfied uh, truly speaking with the follow-up answers a lot First of all, that grammar was a major problem in the entire speaking. She had done very, uh, she had done lots of errors in this uh, entire speaking. And secondly, I would say that in the follow-up part, she was not extended her answers. As uh, many a times I mentioned uh, during my videos that whenever the examiner will be asking the follow-up, then you have to extend your answer between 30 and 40 seconds or at least 4 or 5 sentences. And she was not able to do that. So overall, I would give six band score. And if you guys are preparing for IELTS, you can join our courses or classes and where you'll be giving the honest feedback either by me or IELTS experts at my platform. Thank you so much.